We're going to go through a manometer problem where we're trying to measure the pressure in a uh, system. Okay, so we have a system and this manometer. Okay, it's just a tube filled with um, liquid. In this case, this is going to be uh, mercury. Um, and there's going to be a height difference in this. And this is going to be 365 millimeter difference. Okay, and then uh, because this this gas, this vapor here, um, reacts with the mercury, we put a 10 centimeter layer of silicon oxide. Okay, not to scale here, um, but uh, but close. Um, so this is our silicon oxide, and uh, that has a specific gravity. Um, of 0 0.92. So in comparison to water, it's a little bit less dense than water, but we're going to put it uh, right on top of this uh, mercury, which has a higher specific gravity. So silicon oxide, if they don't mix, it will go to the top of the mercury uh, and not sink below. Um, but we're going to have uh, this area is going to be open to the atmosphere. And uh, we have, uh, this is the pressure of our system that we're trying to measure. Okay, so I'm going to start um, with all of the uh, pressure um, terms that are going to be on this side, uh, on the on the uh, right hand side. Okay, and then um, I'm going to go down to this dot. Uh, okay, so that's going to be the difference between these two. That's going to drive this difference in height in the mercury. And uh, so I'm going to have pressure of our system plus rho of the silicon oxide, uh, or sorry, silicon oil, uh, not silicon oxide, and then gravity times the height of our silicon oil. Okay, so, um, and then I'm going to also have the difference in uh, the mercury height, G times H, H, G. Okay, so that's going to be the, the difference of uh, this 365 uh, millimeters. And then that's going to equal the pressure of the atmosphere. Okay, now let's say I did have another uh, liquid here. Um, then I would just add rho liquid G um, times H of that liquid. Okay, but I don't have another liquid there. But if I did, I would just add that term uh, to this other side. Okay, um, now let's go ahead and just calculate this. Um, let's do it in, in SI units. Uh, first, um, and uh, you know what we what we're going to do is um, just go ahead and divide this uh, row HG on both sides. Okay, um, times G and row. Okay, so that's the density of our mercury times the gravitational constant, and so this will be in units of, uh, you know, millimeters mercury, for example. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and uh, and calculate this. So our system is going to be our atmospheric pressure is going to be 765 millimeters of mercury. Okay, that's in a head form. Okay, and then we have um, equals to 365 millimeters of mercury. Okay, that was the height difference there. Uh, just this, these are going to cancel, so that's going to be our height difference. Um, and then we're going to have, um, you know, this term right here. And, uh, you know, so if we uh, just divided the specific gravities, we would be able to get, um, you know, we'd be able to get uh, the, the answer much easier, okay, if we just use a uh, specific gravity of mercury, which is 13.54, uh, 546, um, um, you know, then we can get, uh, just use this height right here. So if I take the difference, or the, the division of the um, specific gravity of the silicon oil, uh, divided by that of mercury, Okay, and the G terms are going to cancel out, and so then I have my 10 centimeters, which is going to be 100 
um, millimeters. Okay, and then I also um, have this PS over rho HG. Um, okay, so uh, I can do the calculation and uh, just get it into a head form. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to get the pressure, but if I want to get it in uh, in terms of millimeters of mercury, then uh, PS over rho HG uh, times the gravitational constant, then that is going to be um, 393 millimeters of mercury. Okay, so um, we have a conversion here, 760 millimeters of mercury equals one atmosphere. Okay, so we can convert it from kind of a head form to a, an atmospheric form. Okay, and, and there's some other things that, um, you know, that's going to be equal to 1.01 uh, bar, um, and that's also going to equal to 14.7 pounds per square inch. Um, now, that would be an absolute uh, versus um, a gauge. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is the problem with the manometer. Um, and uh, we can calculate the pressure inside this unit um, by looking at the difference in, uh, for example, the, the level of the mercury plus the uh, silicon oil that's there. Okay, and this is the, uh, the way to do the calculation, and we call this the head form of this equation.